Hi, welcome to Battle Systems. This is the tutorial video for the um, plasma reactor chamber as part of the reactor room pack um, set. Um, this little uh, chamber here, sort of nice little blue reactor okay. chamber. So um, yeah, I think what we do first of all, um, because it takes a little bit of time to get this cylinder to dry in shape, we're actually going to go straight ahead with this cylinder first. Okay, so I'm just going to move these out of the way. Okay, so what we want to do with this is we want to basically curve this round. And what I have used before is, is this technique, which is just to kind of roll this under here like that. Um, and I tend to do this anyway because what we want is we want this thing to stay in place once we've glued it. So the more that you can kind of get it to shape, get it to sit in its own shape, the better. So. Um, Okay, so there it is, there's my cylinder. It's not quite meeting, but that's fine. Um, it just means there's a lot less pressure now um, for me to hold that once I glue it here. Um, I've also got a little clamp as well that I'm going to use to hold it in place. You can use paper clips um, and all sorts of different things. So, um, um, first thing I'm going to do is glue it. Before I do that, I'm just going to make sure that it is roughly same size as my little lid here. Yep, yeah, well it is. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So, um, I'm going to glue this now. But in order to do that, I like to use this little clamp. But this clamp is quite, quite strong and it's got a sort of a pattern on here. You know, you leave that on, probably pretty much hidden anyway. But I want a nice even sort of um, hold on this. So I'm going to just cut a couple of strips of this and um, to put on top and underneath. And actually this will help to to hold it as well. Um. Okay, so that is roughly staying there now. Um, and you can you can see, you might not be able to see, there's a little bit of sort of splodge in here on the glue, that's fine. This, this back part here is going to be completely hidden. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to clamp it in place now. So I'm going to put a piece of this underneath, a piece of this over the top. And because of the splodging, it might get a bit stuck afterwards. I'm going to take my clamp, stick it like that. The next thing I want to do is I, I want to basically, um, I want to stick these bits here onto these side bits and these little pullouts onto these bits here as well. Um, just pop that off. But always before we do this, we must make sure that it all fits. Okay, that's the first two bits stuck on. And you've got these tiny little bits here, make sure they fit, um, and then I'll do the same, stick those on. What I need to do now is I need to score this part here. This is basically going to curve and sit over here, um, and this is going to curve and sit over here. So, <coughs> as marked, I'm going to overscore, underscore to get this all across here. That's these two parts done. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put this part here together first. Um, I want that as dry as possible before I insert it in so it's got a bit of strength on it. 
Um, so just need to fold this out. And as always, before you glue, it's best to just make sure it all fits. So I'm just going to make sure this fits and then glue it straight down. And there it is, that's your little uh, plasma transfer pipe there, it sits on the back. Pop that off to one side. Uh, now I'm just going to fold this through and connect it onto this side part. And as always, it needs to be edge glued. Yeah, that's one side on, that's a perfect fit. So I'm just going to edge glue here and then kind of slot this in here. That, um, that side slotted in, went in nice and easy. Okay, so there it is. That's your arm um, to uh, this part here. Um, and we've just got this little bit to kind of slot in there and glue in there. Um, before I do that though, I'm gonna bring on these two bits here. Back to my chamber, take my clamp off. That's held in in, um, in shape pretty well. Um, where you get this little over, overlap here, you do tend to get a little sort of flat spot there. So if you're happy the glue is completely dry, you can just hold on to that seam, just give it a little bend, just to give it a bit more of a sort of a cylinder shape. Um, that's fine already. So what we do need to do here, um, my youngest of three in the background, if you can hear that. Um, we've got, um, we've just got these these, these little bits here um, that create this kind of, this rim across the top, um, top and the bottom of the unit. We just want to um, kind of glue these into place, as it were. Okay, so um, what we're going to do with these is we're going to need to kind of wrap them round in the same way that we did the cylinder so uh, and with this I'll just use the because here this will easily crease and fold so I'm just going to use this pen um, keep the tension on and just wrap that round there and I'll do the same on the other side as I did before Now there's an area on here a little kind of divot, little recess cut out of there. What you want to do is you want to line that up with one of these and that will pretty much line it up seam to seam at the back. And the same for the bottom as well. That'll line up and do exactly the same. Okay, so we're going to glue each one of these on here, and I'm going to glue it onto here and do this one at a time. want to stick the top on here um, on the top I guess um, and you want the um, the kind of the uncolored 
dead rectangle. Um, that needs to be the grate here, needs to be at the front by this little kind of power indicator if you like, um, leaving the back the close end of the rectangle there towards the, these kind of um, the back bit where it's all sort of folded over and it meets. And, what, and when this hides all of this, it also covers over the top of that, that um, rectangle there as well. Okay. We're not going to bolster this in any way, shape or form. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to very carefully, very carefully edge glue around the inside directly onto the photo paper. Um, and then I'm just going to place this on top and carefully make sure that it's in place. Um, this will clamp it all down and everything. So. so that looks pretty good to me. Cool. So again, move that off to one side. We're right at the end now. Um, all I've got to do before I glue this arm onto the actual chamber itself um, is to drop this in here. So I'm just going to make sure this fits. And it does. Um, yep, yeah, does. Fits quite nicely. So I'm going to edge glue this. Um, all we've got to do now then is um, glue this onto here to give us a chamber. Okay, so um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to edge glue here, here, here and here. And that's it. That's on there. Done nicely. That is the uh, reactor unit. Okay, that's it. That's the um, tutorial video for the plasma reactor chamber. Um, the next one in the reactor pack, room pack, is the um, the transfer unit, the plasma transfer unit. So uh, on to that tutorial video for the next one, um, and uh, happy gaming.